Hello, this is Aaron with www.reportingguru.com and I'm just going to continue uh, discussing BERT iHub server um, and uh, talking about uh, some of the functionality in the reports themselves. Um, so again, if you're used to something like uh, SQL Server reporting services where the report's rendered um, then if you, uh, you, let's say you choose um, certain parameters or filters and like for date, a begin date and end date, uh, then you want to have a different date. Uh, well, you have to then go back, choose your parameters and rerun the report. So what's nice, one thing that's really nice about BERT iHub server is you can come in here on the fly and change your uh, parameters and then you can see the report is rendered um, based upon on the fly by changing that parameter and then I can change it back or zoom out um, it has the different month buttons that I can zoom in and zoom out as well um, here's a, a a table below the chart and so here I can drill into a particular report and you can see uh, what's nice here uh, another nice feature here um, uh, with the uh, plus and minus icon um, again in reference to SQL reporting services or crystal when you click on the plus minus icon the entire page has to be rendered again uh, while here in BERT iHub server you can see that uh, it's just dynamically um, collapses um, and changes. Uh, another thing to uh, make note of too is the sorting capability. Uh, while you can sort columns um, in uh, uh, SQL reporting services or, or Crystal um, by, make, by enabling the hyperlinks at the top, this one just, I don't know, just flo feels better. It, it, it um, doesn't have to re-render the page. Um, you can also filter, which is really nice. Um, so if I want to filter on a particular value, you can see that you can filter right there on the fly. It's very Excel-like um, where you get that, that dynamic functionality.